At the Siege of Acre, we have the last stand of the Templar Knights and their fellow Crusaders. And this is the Siege of Acre, 1291, also known as the Fall of Acre in history, but will it fall today? We have three Umayyad armies ready to take the walls and s storm this city, but will the Templars and their fellow Crusaders allow them to? What's up guys, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another 1212 AD historical battle and today, yes, as I said, is the Siege of Acre and we have an excellent siege battle for you here today. I get three attacking Ayyubid armies against two uh, defending Crusader armies. This is in history the last stand of the uh, Crusaders in uh, the Holy Land. They then, after in history, go to Cyprus and then all the way to Rhodes and then Malta etc etc falling back across the Mediterranean but this is the last stand for the Templars in basically any Crusader um, occupation after this they go to Europe and they basically become a huge just a big old bank um, this is part of a new mini series that I will be starting on the channel it is basically going to be uh, focused around the Templars and the stand here in um, Acre and then well hopefully if they uh, if history goes the right way it will then carry on into uh, France, and we will see what happens to them there in the mini series. So, I hope you guys enjoy the battle and are enjoying Siege Week as well. Um, if you are, then please do leave a like, subscribe, and a comment if there's any battles that you'd like me to recreate on 1212 or um, any just general battles that you'd like me to try and do, whether it's like the Siege of Constantinople, which I know a few people have been asking for and is being organized at some point. I'm going to do another, I'll do a Siege of Constantinople, um, probably on Vanilla Attila, uh, unless we wanted to do like uh, one of the Turkish attacks on the city itself. But anyway, as I'm uh, blabbering on, the Turks are battering down some walls, it's 3% uh, here, it's at 2% here, I don't know, I think this is the area that they're going for. I am attacking along with some of my other subs. Um, and members of the Discord. So if you want to join the Discord and get involved in some battles and maybe involved in this mini series, then the link is down in the description. Do go and join to take part in the mini series. Uh, but yes, I think the walls are starting to get bombarded ever so slightly. I don't know about over here though. I don't know if they started to fire just yet. Have they even got artillery here? I don't know if they do. They've got Nafatoons, I can tell you that. Um, the catapult here is moving back it looks like it's just about to get ready into position while it's uh while they're just bombarding i will i'm sure i'll put like a time for when the battle like fully begins and starts if you want to i just go to that i'll go through an army comp because i know some people enjoy to see it um and enjoy to see the units so we have um for the defenders we have a lot of order swordsmen this is probably their main bulk unit a lot of order swordsmen and um, they're pretty good they'll hold the line for a fairly long time it sounded like something was going off there. I think they just knocked down some um, wood or something like that. But it sounded like a onager or something. Um, so they've got some dismounted hospital knights. Another fellow crusader order hit there. Ready to defend with them. Uh, at, at, with the Templars. They have a uh, ministerial spearmen here. They're pretty solid. They're just like spears. They'll, just, they'll hold the line for a while. They've got Poulain crossbows. They have some... Foot Turk poles here. These are like Turkish guys that have changed sides and are fighting for the Crusaders. Probably for money and not for Christ, like the Crusaders are. We have um, dismounted Poulain knights, which don't really look like knights because they're just pikes. So there's an interesting. I guess they're like this, they've got their lances almost, and they're not on the horseback, but they look really cool. What do we have here? We have more dismounted hospitalers. Lots of uh, hospitalers. Hospitaler bo bodyguard. Which have like a sword instead of a big axe. They look excellent to be honest. Do love this. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Majestic with his fez. Looks like a fez anyway. Not got a helmet on. And then we've got more Poulain crossbows. Hospital of bodyguard. I think they're all bringing a lot of the same stuff. We've got halberdiers here. These will be very handy. Halberdiers hold the line. Yes, yes. They'll hold the line for a long time. Um, I don't actually know if you have any Templars on the field. I mean, the Order Swords are technically part of the Templar Order, but uh, I don't know if there are any Templars here. Maybe they've already fled the city, because in history they did flee out the uh, out of the uh, port here and to sea and to Cyprus. 
We have order cavalry here. What do we have? More order cavalry. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be actually no Templars on this battlefield. A real shame. Clearly the defenders just didn't want to bring them. I think you can only bring about three and they're fairly expensive. But uh, certainly worth it. They are certainly worth it. Yes, we have more of the same over here. I'm just checking every single sword unit, but it looks like every single one is going to be Order Swordsman. Not a single uh, Templar inside. A great shame. But it does not matter. The Templars are here in spirit and in their Order Swords instead. So I think the battle is about to get underway, but it looks like they're doing their final setups. I think there was a volley that went off. I thought that was uh, the beginning of the battle, but it would seem otherwise it is not. But I will continue to uh, just chatter away as uh, as they get in ready position. And I'm sure if you've already skipped, you can skip ahead to the time that the battle starts if you if that pleases you. But um, yeah, so this siege was basically done by, I think in history it's done by the Mamelukes. We could have actually used the Mamluk uh, roster, but didn't really want to. The Uyubis are probably a bear, have a better roster and um, stuff like that, um, which is better for the battle anyway, use a better roster. Um, there is probably around 20,000 uh, attackers and around 10 to 15,000 defenders. Um, but I've also read like like records of like the numbers being like in the hundreds of thousands for the attackers. Like they had like 100,000 men or like they had them in the area that they could attack with. So like maybe yeah, in the initial assault, 20,000 men attacked um, and then they had so many men in reserve. Who knows? That may be the case. Um, Either way, the Turks had a lot of men. They had a goddamn lot of men, and they weren't afraid to use them. Well, what have we got here? We've got a hosp Hospitaller Caravan. I didn't see these guys. I don't think I've seen these guys before on the battlefield. In their red and white, they look excellent. Hospitallers are the oldest uh, organization in history. Um, they are now the St. John Ambulance in the UK. I don't know. They might have them elsewhere in the world, but um, they originate from the Hospitallers. Um... All that time ago, they put down their swords and they started uh, caring for people instead of killing people, it would seem. Um, I'm going to just fast forward it, I think, just for the sake of it. Because I th was thinking, oh, we're going to get underway. But no, the catapults seem to have held their fire. These swordsmen here have been spared. I mean, a few of them died. God, God bless their souls. Jimmy here never saw battle. Jimmy's also mel melted together with Barry. Some very brave crusader names. Yes, it is unfortunate that they did that. But here we go. It does look like um, they're basically ready to the defenders. So the order must be going, giving it up. It does take a little bit of time to set up with these 12-12 uh, sieges, unfortunately, because of the uh, how well the replays work. So here we go. Our ally is under attack. The siege has begun. The walls are being knocked down, it would seem. And it looks like... Well, I don't know. I say the walls are getting knocked down. I'm pretty sure I saw... Um, an assault go on here? Maybe I'm wrong. And the walls are being knocked down slowly here. They got one percent. Did they just like? Yep. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that was actually nearly a good hit on the artillery. So it looks like this um, cabal here is going to just. I think it's going to fire at this wall here, but it's got this wall to protect it. Wall of uh, siege towers. I'm sure this is not a tactic ever used in history, but twelve, twelve. You can get away with this. And here we go. That is the first. Uh, catapults uh, landing there. So if you are joining us now, if you've uh, skipped ahead and uh, avoided my wittering, I hope you all are doing well and uh, staying safe and healthy. And I've got your uh, drinks and snacks ready and maybe your expensive loo roll um, for an epic epic siege. And yes, yeah, so it looks like uh, yeah, we're going to have a fire. Fiery ball of justice here. Is it going to hit anywhere? Oh, nearly hit. Got a good hit. I think a few of the crew have been hit. Yeah, they've hit a few of the crew. They've also got some of the uh, swords here of the Ayubids. Um, most of the Ayubids are bringing, like, just the same swords. They're bringing a lot of, um, like, of these Talca Axemen, which are actually okay. They're bringing, um, obviously, the uh, Mamluk Foot Guards. They're bringing Tabadria and lots of Cav in this one. This is a Juban Mamluk Lance. is bringing lots of Cav. He's got his Nafatoons as well. I didn't actually share what um, the Turks are bringing, but who cares about the Turks? It's all about the Templars. The Templars and their uh, Crusader allies here. That here they are. I mean, these are Order Swordsmen. There are aren't actually any Templars on the battlefield. Decided someone uh, the defenders clearly thought they weren't worth bringing. So clearly the Templars have already fled the 
Brentford, the Port, City, and are making for France already, it would seem. But there are probably a few inside the city that are uh, defending it and gathering uh, the last few bits of riches that they have. Because the Templars were known for having a lot of money, if you didn't know that. One of the richest organizations in history, and a lot of their wealth is still lost to this day, um, as far as I'm aware. Probably the Swiss have it. I bet the Swiss have it. The Swiss seem to have everyone's wealth. Yes, yeah, so it looks like the uh, Sea Charles are coming forward. It's going to be some Syrian Nashir. Interesting to bring spears for first. Um, we have swords over here as well. And then we have just and more spears, actually. Lots of spears. Looks like it's going to go up first. But, I mean, they are actually probably some of the weaker units. Otherwise, it's um, uh, Mamluk foot guards are going in first. Otherwise. And uh, don't really want to do that yet. And we've got Tabadrir. I'd rather see Tabadrir till the end of the end of the game and we've got naftoons over here as well anyone at the wall yet that's the real question we do have engagements on the wall we have looks like axemen over here um these are tabadrir i'm gonna guess oh no these are uh talcla axemen okay so they're like a i guess like a lighter unit oh god of um tabadrir possibly they're now fighting some hospitalis there they go there's the orders given in they go. Look at them jumping down like, yes, I'm into the city. I'm the furthest the Turks ever been in this city in about a hundred odd years. More than that, probably. Akko's uh, been in the hands of the Crusaders for a long, long time. So yes, they're engaging here now. Looks like the Order Swordsmen are doing the same over here. Taking on more Talca Axemen. Definitely pronouncing some of these names wrong. I do apologize to anyone that does know how to pronounce them. But here we go, We've got more axemen coming along here. They're just gonna run down and I imagine they're gonna go and fight over here. Two units of uh, all the swords defending here. This is possibly a bit over the top. Pro one unit probably would have done the job. Um, but there you go. It looks like he's gonna uh, send two in. I mean, you might as well have. Actually, I would say might as well. There's actually no way you can get off over here. But it does look like um, this Turkish player is gonna have a very easy time. Very little of the war is defended. I mean, but it is very easy to defend. Just put a unit here in the choke point. Can hold back this entire army. Maybe some pikes. Maybe Well, not maybe. Maybe pikes. Maybe just spears. But you do have to worry that they have a lot of ar ar uh, a lot of archers, if I can pronounce. So, yeah, see swords. They just butchered a poor uh, cavalry crew, crew. And that's about it. And look at this. Arrow tires firing like mad. And here we go. Fiery ball just is trying to hit the wall. Is it 20... 6% he's probably better using normal shot more accurate and I think he does more damage to walls anyway Fiery balls just is better for infantry um, But here oh no, it looks like the axemen that were gonna go along this wall changed their mind and now we've got order swords going onto the wall um, And they're getting focused down on these axemen. They're not getting actually too badly beaten up um, They're like they've taken a lot of hits Before they're gonna die Yeah, they're only lost three and they take soaking up quite a lot of ammo um, these crossbows here, they're probably not actually that good at, like, here. They're probably better up on this, like, little wall here. And then they've got a more direct line of fire. But it does look like these axemen are going to lose the first fight to uh, dismounted Hospitallers. Which you could say are sort of like the the uh, the Templars, but they're really not. They are their own order. I mean, look at this boy here with his goddamn helmet. Look at that. There's, like, a... I think there was a lag spike because, it's like, a tower just broke. I'm not quite sure where a tower just broke. Um, but we also have engagement over here. Ah, both these towers here broke. That's why. Um, that'll be the reason why. So it looks like the decision was to knock down this wall. Um, the Order Swordsman here breaking. Probably because of the amount of men lost. I think also a sword unit was lost for the Turks. Yeah, you can see it through there. Basically, basically because of the tower coming down. But the Turks are in. The gates are theirs and they can walk in. Look at this. They are walking in. As though the city is theirs already. We will claim it for Allah. And for the Ayyubids, I guess. Or the Turks, it should really be. Or in history, it would be the Mamluks. Um, but here we go. So it looks like the first line of defense is going to be some of these spearmen. Not a bad defense. They've also got um, a hospital caravan back here. They're getting ready to uh, fire. I presume they're going to just focus down these uh, spears. Well, I say that. Maybe. A volley, sir. When you're ready, 
Uh, more troops coming through, though. Looks like more spears. Yep. Over there in the distance, more spears. Can we have a volley? No, maybe not. Maybe not. But we also have a... Uh, what do we have up here? We have foot mamluks now. Causing problems up here. Not quite... I was like... I was like, where's the whole unit? There's about five men actually holding back. 30 order swordsmen. This is what I mean. They're just so good. I mean, it's also just like... What happens in it? It's just like how the unit... Units work in Attila. Five men apparently. That's enough to slow down the entire uh, entire unit, and they're then forced to fight there. So luckily for them, um, these archers they'll mop up these guys quite easily, and then they can start firing on their own. Uh, well, on the defenders basically, and we have spears. They're going to go and fight against these swords. So you imagine the swords will win this fight. Uh, swords versus spears. And also spears just on on a wall. And they're getting support from the arch tower. Order swords. Hold the line. Hold the line. But we also have a clash down here. Spears versus spears. This could go either way. Um, I'd say probably that the um, these minstrel spears will probably hold better. Excellent. Ooh, what are the caravan guard firing at? I think they're firing at all the um, archers on the wall there. Quite possibly. Um, they are probably losing that fight ever so slightly. Um, I mean, they, they've not, they barely lost any men, but I mean, I don't know, these foot mamelukes are pretty nasty. They're like, hard to take out. They're using a lot of their ammo up and shooting them. Oh, actually, there's a lot more down here as well. Good God. Yeah, I'm surprised they're not like, taking a lot more damage. What have we got over here? We've got foot turco poles. These guys are definitely, oh, they've got a really nice angle up here on these, um, Spears and swords on the wall. Who are battling out against some more order swordsmen. But we've got um, Mameluke archers here getting ready. They're going to just start focusing these guys down. And these guys don't have pavies to defend themselves. So you do imagine that their numbers will start to drop slowly. Over on the other side, what is going on? Well, there's a lot of wavering. And it looks like the Turks have the walls. Um, it looks like the last few units of order swords here are going to fall back. Um, and then you've got some dis I think these uh, Hospitality Knights have been on the walls for so long. Finally giving up. They're on Silver Chevron. Wow, I don't know if they started on that. But they've uh, they've earned, earned their stripes. They've probably killed a lot of men. Are they going into one final fight? I think they are going to try and take out these Mamluks. They're not quite gone yet. Oh, no, they're broken. They are well and truly broken. So these guys are just going to die in here. And these uh, Mamluk foot guards will uh, probably beat them. Um, there's a... Order Swords unit, though, that's here that needs uh, dealing with. I mean, there is some Axemen in here. But they may need some more support. I mean, it looks like this Turkish player is trying to support by shooting all the way over this wall into the back of these guys. But I don't know if he's being that... He's not being that successful. He's getting some hits. I think he's probably getting more hits on his uh, Axemen. Well, on his allies Axemen. And I mean, these um, Order... I was about to say Order Swordsmen. They're not Order Swordsmen. These pooling crossbows down here doing excellent. Look at this. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I was about to say, I think they lost a lot of men, but they didn't. They luckily didn't have any men down here. But this Mamluk Tabadrea just getting focused down. I need to move them in. Like this Tabadrea as well here, getting focused down. I need to just send it in. Send these boys in. They'll cut these guys down. Um, it also looks like it's going to be... Oh, this is unfortunate for the defenders. I mean, Mamluk foot guards just going to stand here and just shoot them to pieces. And unfortunately, it does look like that's going to just end nastily. I mean, it looks like archers were out here as well. This pooling crossbow unit was just outside here. And they got, like, charged down or something. Or maybe shot down one or the other. But yeah, these guys are just like, nope, we'll take all your ammo we've got. Um, and these Mamluk foot guards, I guess, are holding, their light, holding it now. They're, they decided shields are out. It's time to go. Um, Tabadaria coming down here. Oh, there's cavalry. There's a cavalry fight here. I did not even realize. Um, so we've got Mamluk uh, or Mamlik. Al Umar fighting against Order Swords. And they're losing. Order Swords are going to win this fight. I didn't ex expect that, I guess. It's, um, well, it's melee versus melee. It's actually even now because one of the units has pulled out. It's going out the walls, and that's about it. That is it. It may go for the general, but the general, I think I realized, um, and I've sent them back the way they came. And now we're winning this fight. Don't know why I didn't send the Tabadrea in to win that fight, but... Ah, because Dismount Pule Knights are coming up. So, this cavalry unit is probably lost. 
Um, very unlikely it's going to get all this alive. Is there anything that I could send over? Maybe archers? Could send archers over. These, certainly these archers here, these Mamluk foot guards, might be worth sending in. They'd focus down these Pulian knights quite nicely. Uh, but we're having some uh, pro problems over here. We've got wavering going on, it would seem. Still struggling to get through here. We've got lots of uh, spears left. They've only lost six men, and they probably killed a lot more. I mean, these um, foot turk poles are actually losing quite a lot of men, but they're also nearly out of ammo, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're slowly losing men, but it doesn't really matter. They've probably done the damage they need to do. And these hosp hospitaler caravan, though, getting absolutely shredded. Like, poor guys. And finally, they're um, going to surround this uh, Order Swordsman unit on the wall here, and this spear unit is going to be freed up. And here we go. The uh, Axemen have gone on. The Tabadria have gone in. They're going to probably kill this Cav, which is great, but the Pikes are going to do the damage. They're going to... The enemy is going for the General. Oh, is he just shooting him down? Possibly. Quite possibly. Um, but on the other side, wow, they've got a really tough assault here. Got to go up this little uh, up this little slope. I mean, they are killing a lot of them, and a lot of arrows coming in here. The problem with the defenders, they've got to soak up this ammo. They just got to send units in. They've got to soak the ammo up, and then they uh, then they have to pray that they run out soon rather than later. I mean, looking at the ammo left for um, the at attackers, these two units coming in with full ammo, not a good sign. This one's already at, only at half. They've got a lot of ammo left, but this is the strength of the. Uh, Turks, they have their Mamluk foot guards. Just got to focus them down as much as possible and try and catch them out when possible. And these foot Turk poles, I mean, I don't know how well they're doing, but they're nearly out of ammo, which is worrying. That is worrying. And here we go. It looks like. Is he going to come down? No, I thought he was gonna, the spears looked like they were coming down, but some of them are just adjusting. Over here, it looks like the Turkish player over here is finally getting some action. I mean, he's finding some spears down on the ground. He's got some order swords that he's trapped. Between, uh, I think this might be, and um, these axemen might be coming from that army, but so they've like this. These two players here have trapped a good, uh, good portion of troops here. 99 order swordsmen. This unit here is actually losing decisively though. Have a little look at this fight on the walls. The last fight on the walls, really. Oh, getting shot in the side, I think there. And it looks like I think these towers are still in command of. Uh, yeah, still held by the. Uh, Defenders, so these are they are actually shooting these uh, swords in the back. So that's really big for uh, the uh, defenders. They, they're getting like those kills there. I mean, it looks like most of. I'm not sure. I think these armies are starting to blend together a bit. But I mean, they've nearly got everything in over here. They've got actually, yeah. I think these Tabadria have come from this army over here. But yeah, they they're all coming over here now. Interesting. Is the artillery got any ammo? It still has ammo as well. Ooh. That could be useful late game, possibly. And the spears are breaking, and the Nafatoons are now, are now, uh, well, they're vulnerable, and they need to get out of here. Nafatoons need to get out of here. Not a good sign. Uh, this is really, really good uh, for the defenders that they manage this. They've got Nafatoons in here. The general might need to be sent in to save these Nafatoons. There we go. The spears are rallying. Oh, the Nafatoons need to get in there. Get out of there. Sorry. Oh, they lost a lot of men there. 14. That was well played by the defender there, just taking out a lot of Nafatoons. Going to need their pots for for later. I mean, it looks like they did a lot of damage here anyway. And now we've got pikes coming up. And here they come. All the arrows focusing down on these pikes. Absolutely going to shred these guys. Is he going to send them in? It looked like the general was going to try and sneak by, but then the pikes were there. What is going on over here? Oh, we now have... Um, Foot Mamluks fighting here against these spears. They are going to win this fight by the looks of it. They're already losing decisively at 73. Now we've got loads and loads of men now. Look how many men it took to take out that Order Swordsman. That is insane. And the cavalry here, the Order Cavalry, um, coming back inside. It does look like the Crusaders won this fight on this side. Now are Pikes defending this little choke point here, followed by more dismounted ho uh, Hospital Knights. If they're going to contribute so much to this small choke point, that's really good for the attackers. Because these are two really, really elite units. Um, that's fine with um, the attackers and doing that. They've also got their cavalry here. Um, that's perfectly fine. All they need to do, the uh, defenders, is really just put a unit here. Or maybe capture this tower. Capture this tower and then um, you can just defend like here. 
And the attackers have to basically come and retake the tower or... I don't know. It looks like the attackers are going to take the offensive. Possible tower uh, knights coming up. Oh, we also got a flank here by the archers. So these spears are long gone. I presume that they push through here. Um, which looks like is the case. These arch... Uh, God, not these archers. These pikes already like at half strength. Not a good sign. The fender's running out of troops. Um, they're about like half the force that the attackers have left. Here we go. Mamluks coming in. Poor um, order swordsman just being thrown in to hold these tab rear back. Chop them down, men. These are cursed crusaders that have caused so much pain to us for so many years. Yep, chop down. Yes, what'd you get you for turning your back? Looks like over here there's a... Um, well, Halberdiers have clearly got a lot of nice kills here on these uh, Jubilee Ma Mamluk Lancers. Now they're getting focused down there by archers. Look at all the archers on the wall. These, yeah, these Halberdiers need to just accept that they're not going to survive here and pull back. They're getting, they're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of pain for their uh, decision to pull back, but it is probably the best decision. And it looks like it's already coming down to the final assault. Looks like this. Um, Turkish player here is going to be basically going straight in. I mean, we're having a bit more resistance on this side. There's just pikes left. Oh, Nafatoons here. They're going to throw their pots of death. Let's have a let's have a pot throw. Here we go. Oh, that was a good hit. Very nice. Very nice. And they're on fire and they're going to pull back. They're like, no, we're not going to just stand here and just die to that. And then an archer fire, just like archer volley, just to make sure that they're uh, angered enough. Oh, that's not that. Bad. That's pretty awful. I think they were shooting at the pikes. They had bigger problems, so they should have been taking out these uh, hospital knights that are coming for them. Nafatoons are out of ammo, which is a shame. I'd like to have seen some more action there, but we're getting some tabardier going in now. They'll match these uh, dismounted hospitalers. I mean, so with the fat foot mamluks, they're not a pushover either. Look at all these men just ready. Got so many fresh units here ready to go in. And now we have a uh, engagement over here. It looks like this engagement on the flank. They're not giving up on this. They're really still making offensive, which is uh, surprising since they've like pulled back so far over here. These men are like just condemned. Just going for kills. Going for kills. Excellent. Kill them all. Defend this city for God! And whatever else inspires you to defend it. But here we go, here's a charge from the Order Cavalry. This could be... Actually, that's not a very good charge. I don't know what happened there. Did they just give up in the end? Or have they seen another... Uh... Oh, I think they're going to try and do a rear charge here. Yeah, here we go. This is the proper charge. That's a proper charge. Yeah, those, those Mamluks are going to... I should probably be defeated. They've got pikes, cavalry. They've got shock infantry against them. They're actually probably going to be like... But look, they're still at 111. These guys are mean. They will not break easily. And they're up against very similar stuff. They're finally actually starting to lose. Uh, decisively. Finally. Um, looks like more Tabard ta is now being sent over there. Oh, we've got a... Cavalry charge into the rear here on this uh, on these spears. That is interesting. That is huge. Looks like the allies are coming over. The like allied Turkish armies are coming over. To support this fight here. And here we go. Mamluks coming into the back. Oh, that's going to be nasty. Shunting them back. Any formation gone. And now death ensues. And now they break. And there you go. The flag of... Well, that's basically Turkey's flag. is flying. The, the flags of Islam are flying. They had nearly got this city, it will seem like. They've got so many men left. It does look like the Templars are going to need to flee soon. Run! Run for the port and the boat! The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit 
Yeah, they've got crossbows in it. Not a good sign. You need to get your halberds like, in there. I know that they'll probably focus them down otherwise. Yep, there you go. They're going to shoot your halberds as well. It's a really, really tough position for the defenders. They've got so much ammo left to the attackers. Like, they can just shoot them. But hopefully they, they are going in, luckily. So there is going to be a bit of a contest. They are really, really beating up, though, these halberds. From, like, past volleys. Look at this guy. He's like, yes, I don't care. I've fallen over. I'll get up. Oh, his brothers, though, around him. Getting focused down. Oh, and he's lost his head now. That's what you get fighting with a halberd and, like, I don't know, like, it's a sword. Not going to happen. Over here, we have a really, really um, grindy sort of breach going on here. We've got pikes in here. Lots of archers. This could be pretty huge. If they could break all this, the attackers, and this is a good chunk of their defenders gone and basically that's it they've only got um, some dismounted hospitals and generals left they need to get some uh, I don't know some archers up here or they've not got any pikes of their own which is the only problem nafatoons would be very ha handy now get these nafatoons in here this is a huge blob worth hitting nafatoons even if they don't kill a lot of stuff they're very good at scaring people and they, they all of a sudden your unit can go from being steady happy and it will start a waver. Because no one likes uh, the clay pots of death raining down on them. And here we go. Looks like more troops coming up. I don't think it need they need more troops here. But they're going to send more troops in. Like, look. This is a really thick line. I don't know. don't think this needs any more. But they're going to send in the uh, dismounted hospital knights. And they've gone straight to the front. Look to the standard bearer indeed, and there you go. Look at all those arrows coming down. Look at the amount of Turks that they're just able to hit. I mean, but also the Turks are just responding with their own volleys, and they're just going to just give the pain to the halberdiers, who are now, like, the cavalry, look at them. They're just brave and foolish. They're trying to go in, and they're getting shot by their own uh, archers, and they're also just being impaled by halberds. Foolish men. Send them back. Whoever's their commander, demote him. Yeah, it looks like, look at these Mamluks. They're just, yeah, they don't even care. They're just going to keep shooting. going to keep on shooting. And here we go. The final assault attack over here is starting. We still have fighting going on over here. And these um, Tabadarir are actually losing as well. And the foot Mamluks are about to go as well. We've now got cavalry coming over. We've got uh, Mamluk uh, lances. We've got more infantry on its way. There you go, Pikes have uh, routed another unit. Archers getting up, they're going to shoot down the general. A bit scummy, I won't lie. I uh, probably should have just sent these troops in. It would have made them an more of an epic stand, but they're getting focused down anyway. This is nasty. Poor guy. They've not actually lost a man yet. Oh, as I say that, they start to drop. That shows him how ammo, uh, armor they've got. They've only lost eight men. Yikes. Covered in blood, though. Covered in blood. And there you go. The halberds are broken. It's now down to some uh, crossbows to hold here. Some brave crossbows that are, I think, out of ammo. But, I mean, if they weren't, they were just needed bodies in this breach. Needed bodies in the breach. Look at all the arrows you can see in the background trying to hit these guys. And here they come. Here come the Turks. The Nafatoons are in. The first unit in, and it's Nafatoons. And, uh, yeah, look at that. The general bodyguard already down to half strength. And if it wasn't enough artillery, it's just hit his own. Um, he's hit friendly troops here. And the general is breaking before he's actually even got into combat. That is nasty. That is uh, disgusting. And there we go. It looks like they've broken through over here as well. I'm not, I think it, I'm not sure how. Maybe just general routing. Didn't really uh, have a look. I was looking on the other sides. But it looks like it's going to just come down to this general now. And that's the enemy general for that army gone. I presume this is uh, some of his units left here. He was designated to this side. But at least they're winning here. One final little victory possibly. Oh no, maybe not. Sending in so many more infantry. And there's Tabadere now coming into the rear. Tabadere in the rear. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Apparently. And here we go. The Tabadere are going to seal the general's fate. And Acker will fall again. 
a sad, sad sight. And the Templars will have to fall back to Europe and try and regain a foothold there. Um, and gain support for more Crusades to the Holy Land. But if you guys enjoyed, I well, please do remember to leave a like and a comment and subscribe. We'll have a quick look at the end results and see who did the best. I mean, I was playing as, yes, playing as one of the Ubid armies. Uh, my Tabadrig doing okay, getting 158 kills. Um, my Spear is not doing great. Uh, I had like Chun Spearman and Siri Nashir, excuse me, as I like burp. Um, they did okay, but not great. They are Spears. Um, my Swords here did okay, getting 94. That's not bad. They're not great, but they're not awful. And then it's really just my Mamluk Foot Guards all getting over 100 kills. Most getting like, actually not all of them. This one shamed us. But I mean, most of them did. And then my Navajo's getting 95, which is okay. They definitely could have got more kills if they hadn't died. Um, and then the Mamluks here uh, doing okay as well, getting 76 kills. Um, move on to Prem, who lost only 300 men. Wow. Um, his army is basically intact. He's uh, didn't get many kills at all with his shock infantry because he didn't see combat. His, um, he didn't get many kills, to be honest. His cavalry did really well, getting 388 and, his, uh, and 152. They got inside and started causing chaos. Um, and then his other unit did really well was his uh, Mamluk foot guards, getting 108. And then Adam CK2 Bro doing okay. Bring a lot of uh, these Axemen. Um, getting like 147 with them. They did okay, actually. A lot of sh um, Lots and lots of shock infantry he brought. Um, his Tabadri did okay, but not great. His um, Mamluk foot guards bring, getting a lot of kills. 248. The rest did pretty poorly in comparison. His cavalry getting 101. And his Navatoons, I didn't even see his Navatoons, but they got 237 kills. Wow. I imagine they were the reason why there was a massive break at the end. Aiden um, playing as the first King of Jerusalem army. He just got absolutely rinsed. There's, some, there's not really much here that did really well. I mean, 166 here with the Poulain uh, Knights. I think they were fighting me. They did very, very well. Um, and then, yeah, the rest did pretty poorly. Order Swordsman just got overwhelmed. Archers did okay, but not great. Um, Microsoft PowerPoint um, did a little bit better. Got 101 kills with his dismounted uh, hospital, hospital Knights, if I can say that. Um, and then his uh, order swordsman actually did okay. He got 110 with his, and 88 is not too bad either. And he got um, foot turquoise getting 128 and 117, and that's kind of about it that did okay for them. They did get overwhelmed, but that is kind of how the siege goes down anyway. The Crusaders do get overwhelmed by the larger numbers of the uh, Turks, and the city falls. So we will be retaking up this mini series as the um, Templars land in France and uh, set about finding a job to do there basically and uh, a purpose is probably a better way of putting it a purpose in France so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did then please do leave a like subscribe and a comment and until next time legionnaires